Alright, what's going on everybody? It's Smitty back with another Minecraft throw video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to maximize protection on your Minecraft server worlds. If you want to have a lot of random people join, I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is go to your world. Now I'm going to make a preface on this. Just to let you know, if you fully maximize the security on your world, you're going to remove achievements. You're going to have to use cheat codes in order to make it so people can't spawn in certain stuff and grief certain stuff. So just know if you follow all these rules, you won't be able to get achievements on your world anymore because you'll have to cheat stuff in basically and not be legit. But first, let's get into a few basic things that you can do without using cheats to keep your world legit. So if you look right here, my world is called Safe World. I click on this edit button on the right over here. It takes a little while to load. It's Minecraft Bedrock. It's slow. But then what you want to do is you want to come to game on the side and go over to the right. And over here you have all your settings. You guys know how this stuff works. Peaceful, whatever, survival, you want to keep it in that. And if you come down here, you can see these options. Friendly fire. Friendly fire is basically, if you have this on, people will be able to kill each other. If you turn this off, then people won't be able to kill each other. They won't be able to hit each other. So I guess you could use that if you want. Coming down here, these are two big ones. Fire spreads and TNT explodes. You want to make sure you have both those off because fire spreads, if you have like a big wooden or wool structure or something, easily burn that is easily flammable. If it starts on fire, only like one block will burn and it won't even break. This is very important on multiplayer worlds. TNT explodes is also very important. It basically just prevents TNT from exploding as given in the title. If it's activated by redstone by your hand, no matter what, it won't blow up. It'll just stay in its current state no matter what happens. But for being legit, that's basically all you can do. You just have these three options right here. So if you want to keep your world, all the achievements, go ahead and just do those. But what we're going to be doing in this video is adding a lot of extra layers of security. And you want to come down here under respawn radius and you want to activate cheats right here. Now again, this will turn off your achievements and it'll make the world a little less legit. But again, it'll add a lot more security to the world. So you activate cheats right here, turn that on, and you'll see all these new options. And if you come down here, one of these things, keep inventory. Keep inventory is basically, if you die, you'll keep all your items and your levels. So if somebody kills you, like a griefer or somebody, then you'll keep all your levels and stuff. But uh, I don't usually put that on survival, I like to keep that off. And yeah, you can experiment with these other things, but the big one down here is you want to go to command blocks all the way on the bottom right here, right there. Command blocks, and you want to make sure that those are enabled. Make sure that is enabled just like that, and that should be all the settings out here. If you go down to multiplayer, basically you can turn it on and off if you want a multiplayer game, so you can just do invite only this way. Nobody can join you unless you send them an invite. This way only your friends can join, and if you have friends of friends on, everybody, the world's open. Anybody from around the world can just join you no matter what. So just a little bit of note there if you want a bunch of random griefers to be joining. Probably not have this on, which is what I have on in my community world, rip. But yeah, probably friends only, preferably for a lot of people, just so you don't have to invite them all, and you can get them in there. Okay, so I'm here in my survival world, and it's time to put this place on lockdown. I want to keep this place alive, no griefers. Let's get into some simple ways I can do that. Okay, so this is going to be unlegit, basically. So what we're going to do is we're going to change our personal game mode from here to survival. We're going to turn that to creative is the first step I like to do. I, I like to do the personal game mode, just so everybody else in the world is not affected at the time. On a quick side note, if you type in this command, you'll actually be able to get up to 30 people in your world. So instead of like the preset 8 people, you can get up to 30 people in your world, 30 friends if you want, and just type in this command, it helps a lot. Anyways, once you see that activated in the top left, the first thing we can do is give ourselves a command block. Now, in order to give yourself a command block, again, you want to have cheats on, you want to have command blocks on in your settings, you want to hit right on your D-pad to pull up this menu. Then you want to click on it, and you want to hit slash give. After you've that typed, you want to put space, and then you want to hit at, and then you want to hit at s, so it's to yourself. At s means it's giving it to yourself, nobody else in the lobby. And you want to put command, start typing command, and once you have this, once you have that much type in, you can just hit circle and then you can hit right on your D-pad and it'll take you to the repeating command block, which is what you want to go to, just like that. This one right here, and then I want to hit X and it'll give you one repeating command block. And because you're in creative, one is all you need. Okay, so once you have the block placed, the first thing that you need to know is that you actually have to be in creative mode and able to activate this thing and able to input commands. So make sure you're in creative mode when you place this thing. And also, if you're in survival mode, you actually can't break this block or activate it. So it's pretty safe in survival. No one can do anything with it. Now let's get into it. So once you're in creative and you left click on the block, you'll see this prompt pop up here. And what you want to do, I'm just going to tell you how to do it. You want to come to this left side over here and you want to put it on repeat. So have that on repeat. Condition, you want to have this on unconditional no matter what. And then in terms of redstone, you want to have this on always active, just like this. And basically what this do is it'll always activate the command at all times during the world once you put in some commands. So let's look at some commands that we can put in here. Okay, so here's the big first command. This is probably one of the biggest ones ever. This is the clear command and it clears end crystals from everybody's inventory. So if anybody has an end crystal in their inventory, if you don't know what an end crystal is, it's basically a block that can really just explode. Even if TNT explodes is off, this thing will still explode. So if anybody in the world is trying to brew up some end crystals to blow up your build, you put them in your inventory, this command block literally removes them just like that. It's that simple. No one will be able to set off end crystals in your world with this. Really useful. Again, make sure you have repeat on, unconditional, and always active. Now, if you want to turn this off, if you have to use end crystals for something, go to always active and put on needs redstone, and now it'll actually be off, unless you have a redstone pulse into it, but it'll actually be off, and you can now hold end crystals until you go back into the command block and you put it on always active again, and that'll turn it back on. 
and crystal's gone again very very good command take a look at that clear at a which means everybody in the world at all times it's clearing this from everybody's inventory and crystal just like that and underscore crystal okay so moving on from that one another big one here we have clear at all the barrier blocks so the barrier blocks basically just an invisible block that you can only get in creative it's just useful to have this just in case anybody's cheating this block in so just put this one in there as well have this one always active for sure keep that one the next one we have here is the clear at everybody bedrock so if anybody's in survival and they happen to have bedrock on them somehow if they cheated it in it'll remove bedrock from their inventories just like this i might as well show this one you got bedrock they get bedrock in their inventory just like that, and this will automatically remove it. So now you can't have unbreakable blocks in survival, which is nice. Of course, if you want to use bedrock and you're in survival, or if you're in creative and you want to spawn in some bedrock, then you'll have to turn this one off by turning on needs redstone. Remember that. That's how you turn them off. This next one right here will actually clear all TNT from anybody's inventory. If anybody has TNT in their inventory, it'll get removed. I don't see this one being that useful because we already have TNT explodes off, which that'll get the job done. That'll make TNT not work. But just in case you want nobody even getting TNT, this will instantly remove it from their inventory with that command right there. This next one right here is actually clearing lava buckets. Now, I don't see this one being that useful as well because I see lava buckets useful in a lot of other ways. And this will constantly remove them from everybody's uh, inventory, even if you, even yourself, even you're, you're not even prone to this. So, yeah, this will literally remove lava buckets. So if I try to get a lava bucket, try to get a lava bucket, I try to build one. I want to go put lava all over somebody's house. I get it in my inventory and it immediately disappears. I don't like this one either. I'd run with this one off, but just letting you know, that's always an option. Okay, and then this last command right here will actually defend from people spawning in the wither. If you don't want the wither spawn and you're playing on hard mode or something, if you hit clear at all, skull 1-1, one, one, make sure you put a space in between the ones. That'll actually clear all wither skulls from people's inventories. Again, at everybody, make sure you put that at A. And if you want to spawn the wither again, if you're going to go hunting for wither skulls, obviously make sure you have this off. So go to always active. And as I said earlier, just put on needs redstone. That'll shut it off. But if you're just walking around your world and you don't want anybody to spawn in the wither, which has also happened to me, make sure you have this command on and constantly repeating in this command block. And then that way nobody will be able to get or place wither skulls. So this will not spawn the wither. Beautiful. Amazing work. And those are just the very basic commands. So yeah, those are a few of the very, very simple commands that you can use to try to stop griefers. There are a lot more that go way more in depth, but I'm going to keep this video simple. Just type those in. They're all slash clear commands. And again, let me know if you have any problems in the description or in the comments. And yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Obviously, we went over some settings you can do before the game, and now we'll do what, we, what you can do to members during the game. So if you pull up your menu during the game, you'll actually see on the sidebar, it'll show all the players in the game. And what you can actually do, if somebody's spamming the chat or something, you can actually click on their name, and if you're the operator, if you give yourself the operator, you'll actually be able to take away their privileges. Right here, we have build, mine, use doors and switches. You can remove all these privileges from somebody in your world if you're an operator, and you can also give other people operators, so be careful. And also, if you go all the way down to the bottom, say they're spamming chat, there should be a kick button there. I don't know if I have footage of that, but again, everybody Everybody's names will show up on the right side of the screen and if you click on them and they're being annoying you can actually go down to the bottom and kick them and they won't be able to join back until you open up the world for the next time so it's basically kind of a ban for for the time being in the world it's, it's beautiful but anyways yeah thank you all so much for watching i hope you all found this useful i hope you go and use these in your survival worlds make them i mean a little less legit with the achievements but make them more legit and leave the hackers out make them rage quit hope you all enjoyed thank you so much for watching if you have any questions or anything leave them in the comments below it's been spinny and until the next one peace out everybody keep the minecraft world safe i go into this beautiful house i designed good night <laughs>